You're watching the Seafood News weekly video brought to you by Erner Berry. Visit Erner Berry at Seafood Expo in North America in Boston from March 15th to the 17th. Stop by booth number 364 for a demo of our newly updated Comtel service, our foreign trade data service, or just to chat with one of our market reporters. <laughs> Plus, check out our selection of books and posters. And for those heading to Brussels in April for Seafood Expo Global, you can find Erner Berry at booth 6-842. I'm Seafood News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle. And I'm Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. In our top story of the week, Blue Harvest Fisheries confirmed on Thursday that they have completed the acquisition of 12 vessels and 27 fishing permits previously owned by Carlos Rafael. Carlos Rafael. Blue Harvest acquisition comes a couple of months after Buyers and Sellers Exchange, or BASE, stopped the sale of Rafael's boats to the company. Blue Harvest had initially signed a purchase agreement for Rafael's groundfish vessels. However, that agreement was subject to a 30-day right of first refusal period, which BASE exercised their right to. Blue Harvest ended up filing a civil suit against Carlos Rafael and fishing corporations associated with his vessels. It was because of this civil suit that BASE withdrew their bid to buy the vessels. Blue Harvest CEO Keith Deckard said that the company is committed to carrying on the best aspects of New Bedford and New England's storied fishing traditions and is excited to expand to work on the waterfront. Meanwhile, seafood sellers in China are fighting for survival as the coronavirus outbreak hits prices and sales. Seafood News correspondent Amy Zong reports that sellers are struggling to sell king crabs and when they are able to sell them, it's at a great loss. Due to large sizes and high prices, over 90% of king crabs in China are set to be sold through restaurants and catering companies, most of which have closed down and canceled their orders during Chinese New Year. Those distributing salmon are also said to be selling them at a loss as restaurants and other buyers cancel orders. To cut seafood waste and economic losses as much as possible, seafood sellers in China are taking various measures. Some have chosen to process seafood while hoping for a better tomorrow, although seafood value dies to great extents after being frozen, losses are said to be lower in this way. In other news, Arby has launched a fish sandwich war against McDonald's. The war started with a tweet from Arby's comparing their fish and cheddar sandwich to McDonald's filet of fish both chains use Alaskan Pollock fillets for their sandwiches. The buzz on social media comes just ahead of Lent when seafood consumption sees a significant spike. Prices for Alaskan Pollock adjusted higher throughout 2019 with upwards pressure attributed to tariffs and limited supply out of Alaska. Seasonally, prices remain firm through the Lenten season with added demand on the species during this time, and the same is expected for 2020. Questions remain unanswered on how production and shipping efforts could be impacted by the coronavirus for twice frozen product, as it is still too soon to have a clear picture of the situation. And finally, meal kit company Blue Apron announced in an earnings call this week that they are closing their facility in Arlington, Texas. The news comes after Blue Apron downsized last year at their facilities in Linden, New Jersey and Richmond, California. CEO Linda Finley Kozlowski said that their decision to close the Arlington facility is because the company is building a foundation of operational optimization and fiscal discipline to support their strategy to return to growth. The closure of Blue Apron's Arlington facility will impact 240 employees. Thanks, Amanda. Now be sure to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood Tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And don't forget to listen to a new episode of Seafood News Podcast released on Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes on most Mondays. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and you be well. well.